An EPS file stands for Encapsulated Postscript File. And in order to open it, you'll either need uh, Adobe Illustrator, maybe Adobe Photoshop, um, but essentially it serves as a container for bitmap images and vector graphics. Now there's free options such as uh, EPS File Viewer that you can find online, but let's go ahead and look at how to open it in Photoshop and uh, Illustrator. So we'll go to our file here on the desktop and we'll right click on that guy and go to open with. We'll select Photoshop CS5, although any of the uh, Photoshop additions will work. And we'll hit OK. And you can see it opens it right up. And now we'll go ahead and close out of that. And let's right click again. And this time we'll open with Illustrator. And that will launch Illustrator. And you'll see we have a little bit more control when we edit an Illustrator as opposed to Photoshop, which treats it as just a single object. Now we have all these separate objects broken down into different layers. And that's how you open a uh, EPS file.